the purpose of this video is to review the customization and daily documentation for ipox we begin by choosing our patient establishing a relationship and initiating the risk for injury ipoc to customize an ipoc you're going to click on add to phase you're going to click on add outcome intervention in the search field you're going to search the words patient specific and you're going to scroll down until you see the generic patient specific goal you're going to click on that you're going to click OK and you're going to see the outcome details screen displayed in the description field you're going to backspace to remove the generic verbiage and you are going to enter your patient specific goal once you do that you sign and you refresh and you will note that your patient specific goal has now been customized into your risk for injury IPOC to add an intervention you're going to click on add to phase again you're going to click on add outcome intervention again you're going to search the words patient specific and you're going to scroll down until you see the generic patient specific intervention choice when you click on that you're going to click OK the intervention details screen will display you're going to click in the description field and backspace to remove the generic intervention verbiage. you're then going to enter your patient specific intervention and when you sign and refresh you'll note that your patient specific intervention has now been added to your IPOC in the intervention section the IPOC is now customized with a patient specific outcome and a patient specific intervention to document in an IPOC you are going to simply click on the tab document and plan that's going to display your IPOC with the documentation fields next to it you want to document on your first goal remain free of injury simply click on the check mark if the patient has remained free of injury the met radio button will be filled in your date and time will be automatically entered and you can simply click on sign documentation you'll now note that the documentation has been signed and dated the green check mark indicates that this is a goal that has at this point been met some goals are daily goals some goals are one-time goals to document a goal or an intervention that is not met again you're going to click on status you're going to click not met if something doesn't happen the way we intend it to happen in the system the system gives you the ability to document what is called an outcome variance you'll notice to the right of the body of the IPOC is a outcome variance documentation section with a reason and an action field if you click on the reason field you can see that the system displays a list of generic reasons as to why the goal may not have been able to be met in this case our goal was verbalized factors that contribute to the injury and I'm going to state could not be met because of the patient condition just beneath that is a free text box which gives you the ability to enter pertinent information so in this case I might want to enter patient sedated post procedure the action that I would take based on this outcome variance can be documented just below again you have a drop down of specific actions that you might take in order to address this outcome in this case I'm going to choose rescheduled and I again you have a free text box and I would put we'll wait until patient is no longer sedated again I'm going to sign my documentation and now you'll note that a red X displays here indicating that this goal was not met and if I were to click on the plus sign next to the goal and click on the entry that was not met I would be able to see the documentation just entered 
The same functionality exists in terms of documenting interventions. If I wanted to document on my patient-specific intervention that I entered, Q1 hour rounding, I could click on the line, click on the status, it would bring me to my documentation screen. When I click Done, I then click on these two required fields to enter the date and the time. And once the documentation is signed, again, you'll see it indicated with a green check mark that at this point, that intervention has been completed. You also have the ability to discontinue specific components of an IPOC. To do so, you want to go back to the Orders screen to display the initial IPOC. You want to right-click on the component that you want to discontinue, choose Discontinue, Sign, Refresh, and you'll now see that the component is in a discontinued status. If you wish to discontinue the entire IPOC, you simply right-click on the name of the IPOC, click on Discontinue. The system will display all the components of the IPOC that are still in an activated status in the event that you feel the need to keep any of those components active. If you felt the need to keep any of those components active, you would click in the box next to the component underneath the Keep column. If you wish to discontinue the entire IPOC, do not click in the Keep column. Simply click OK, click Sign, Refresh, and you'll now notice that all of the components of your IPOC are in a discontinued status. And if you look in the interdisciplinary section of your orders view, you'll see that the entire IPOC is now indicated as being in a discontinued status. This concludes our review of the customization and daily documentation of IPOCs.